Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. So following a review that I did on the new Prada Paradox fragrance, I had mentioned that it was yet another designer fragrance that was riding the sweet white floral trend. I feel like a lot of the new designer releases are all sweet white florals, a very likable DNA, but it's just happening left, right, front and center. So I compared all the fragrances, smelt them, and basically found three common categories to classify them to make it easier to navigate this whole category. We have first the bubblegum white florals, next we have the tangy fruity white florals, and finally the vanilla cream white florals. So within the bubblegummy white floral category I have two fragrances, and the first one is Givenchy L'Interdit. Now this is the OG white floral, it started it all, it's the one that launched the first, and it has that like really modern and addictive sweet white floral DNA. So the notes in this fragrance are pear, which is really juicy and very charismatic, tuberose, jasmine, and then in the base you have vanilla and patchouli. And the tuberose is sweet, it's bubblegummy, it's really yummy. This fragrance is really addictive as well feminine and compared to all of the other white florals today, this is the most refined and elegant smelling. So I would recommend Givenchy Interdit for a formal setting. So for example, if you're going to a wedding, you could totally pull off wearing the scent, whether you're the bride or the guest. It has like a refined and sophisticated edge to it if you're into like your sweet white florals. And then as well, if you have like say a formal work event, it is a really nice perfume, super likable and not an offensive fragrance. So I would recommend this for formal settings. And the second fragrance within the bubblegummy category is So Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Givenchy Interdit's little sister. So very similar DNA, but it is fruitier. And the fruit here is actually raspberry. So you don't have pear in this fragrance. You have a big fun dose of raspberry blended with a bouquet of white florals with orange blossom, jasmine, and tuberose. It's milky and also fresh. To me, this perfume smells like a grenadine syrup mixed with sparkling water. So it's like sweet fruitiness, but still remains fresh. So I would recommend this, wearing this perfume during the day. I find this is a great daytime scent, more in like a casual setting. It's pretty like easy to going as well. You can wear it on an everyday basis. So signature scent worthy for sure. And I would recommend this if you want something that is fruitier and a little sweeter. Moving into the fruity, tangy, white floral category, we have two fragrances, Born in Roma from Valentino and My Way from Armani. Now, Born in Roma, I find is the most synthetic of the two. There is a distinctive tangy black currant note in the top that really makes this fragrance smell like a Pez candy. It is not that nice, if I'm honest. I find it to be quite synthetic. And then you have like, yeah, your creamy vanilla thing going on, but you have this prominent like, super acidic, tangy, black currant notes, but I would recommend it for a teenager. And I think to be fair, this fragrance would be a very nice gift for a teenager. The bottle is absolutely stunning. It's heavy, it's qualitative, but I find the juice to be a little bit too juvenile. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. And then we have My Way by Armani, super popular on lots of social media and everywhere. I feel like they put a big marketing budget out there with Armani. But anyways, My Way, I've already reviewed it a little bit on this channel. You may know that I'm not a massive fan of this fragrance either. However, I do find that within this like fruity, tangy, white floral, category between this and Born in Roma, I would recommend this one for sure. Interestingly enough, My Way doesn't have any fruits listed in the notes. It's more bright citruses and then you have like your white florals and vanilla, but something with the combination of the ingredients gives the impression of a tangy fruity note, which is actually quite nice in the opening, I'm not gonna lie. It's very bright and uplifting and the florals in here aren't as creamy and as sweet, like in like a vanilla sweetness as the other fragrances that I mentioned before. So yeah, if you want something that has more of a fruity edge and perhaps a little bit fresher, then I would recommend you go for My Way. And the final category is the Vanilla Cream White Floral. So this is the most indulgent of them all, and it is the one that is, I would say, 
uh, the sweetest and maybe densest of categories. So you have to be maybe a little bit conscious of like the amount of sprays that you put because it can be cloying very quickly. So the first fragrance is Voce Viva by uh, Valentino. And this perfume briefly has a freshness of citruses in the top, but very, very quickly, this leaves place to a vanilla cream notes. And it's really, truly vanilla cream, thick and dense. And if you like vanillas, you're going to really enjoy the smell of this, but it's not like a complex vanilla. It's very simplistic, not a challenging perfume at all. My problem with this is the dry down. I find it to be quite disappointing. It turns really generic. It smells like a cheap Victoria's Secret body spray in the dry down. So I wouldn't recommend this one unless you really like Valentino, but I think, yeah, there are better fragrances out there. Next, we have the infamous Libre Intense. I used to be a strong advocate of the original Libre because I liked the fact that there was a big dose of lavender, but now I'm finding myself drawn to the intense version more. So I don't know if that's saying anything, but anyways, Libre Intense, in my opinion, is the best fragrance within this vanilla cream sweet category. It is truly an outstanding perfume. If you love orange blossom, this is a fragrance that you need to get, especially sweet smelling orange blossom fragrances. You need to get your nose on it. You have the lavender, but it's not as jarring as in the Eau de Parfum where it is very prominent and powdery and perhaps a little bit more masculine. Whereas here, it just lifts the fragrance, keeps its freshness so that it doesn't become too cloying. This is a really interesting perfume. It has like a boss lady badass vibe about it, which I really, really like. It feels confident, it's sexy. And if you're looking for a new date night fragrance, this is one that I would for sure 100% recommend. So yeah, the best one from this category. And finally, we have the new Prada Paradox fragrance. This perfume is the freshest and the cleanest smelling of them all. It has a really ethereal aura about it. Very nice and feminine, but again, because this DNA has been done so much, it's just not original. Like if you are a diehard Prada fan, or if you know someone who loves Prada, it would be a lovely gift to get to that person or even for yourself if you love Prada for sure, but it's not a fragrance that is massively original, nor does it last for a long time. Like for example, Libre Intense is a long lasting perfume, but Prada Paradox is more fleeting compared to that scent. That being said, it is a great fragrance for everyday use and is also office friendly. Now, do you need to get all these fragrances within this white floral category? Absolutely not. If I had to pick top three fragrances, these would be the ones I'd recommend. First, Givenchy L'Interdit, because it is a more formal fragrance, so you can get a use for a formal occasion with this scent. Number two would be Prada Paradox, if you're looking for like an everyday scent that's easy going, that you can also wear to the office. And then number three would be Libre Intense, because this fragrance you can wear in the evenings, for date night, and if you're going out. So you'll have at least different occasions with these fragrances so you can use, make the most use out of them. Now, if I only had to recommend one fragrance within this category, I would recommend Libre Intense for sure. It is the most outstanding one of all of them and it's the one I find that is today the most original and the sexiest as well. And I feel like you will get a lot of use out of this fragrance. It ticks a lot of boxes. And also as a bonus, the bottle is really gorgeous. So that is it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments down below which of these fragrances is your favorite. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread their favorite love.